Hey you guys, um, tutorial I'll be showing you guys today is how to do the Clockwork Warp into the Unga Bunga Cave. Now with most Clockwork Warps what you want to do is you want to take damage as the Clockwork goes through the loading zone so that way you'll regain control of Banjo. But for this one it doesn't really work because the slope is curved down so your grenade just kind of bounces down like if you were to kind of poop a grenade like that it kind of bounces all the way down so what you want to do for this one is another way the clockwork warp works is you need to blow up the clockwork egg as it goes through the loading zone now people who play the pal version of the game uh, will have to do this for clockwork warps because it's just wow that's that's quite the jump banjo <laughs> okay so what you want to do first off is kind of get in in here and this is a very easy clockwork warp so what you want to do first is just poop a grenade in here and what it'll do oops is it'll go into the loading zone like that so what you want to do is you want to poop the your grenade egg then get into talon trot and wait for a sec then you want to shoot a clockwork egg up into the loading zone so that way it'll it won't like go through it right away and it'll have to fall down to the ground first to kind of make sure it doesn't go too far in or pick up the grenade egg and then what'll happen is the grenade egg will blow up the clockwork so it looks something like this so poop get into talon trot and switch to clockworks then shoot the clockwork egg up into the loading zone and your grenade will blow up the clockwork egg uh, one thing to note about this clockwork warp in here though is that once you get in and do all your oogle boogle stuff you'll have to death warp out because the unga bunga is still here and he kind of pushes you back into the loading zone like there's no like you can't escape from the unga bunga so you'll you'll have to death warp out it's the only way 